or swing AC. In today's session, we are going to see a stable multi operator using IC triple five timer. At the end of this today's session, students will be able to explain IC triple five timer as a stable multi operator with the help of circuit diagram and output signal waveform. These are the contents of my today's presentation. An unstable multi vibrator, also known as free running multi vibrator, generates a rectangular wave signal of required frequency. This multi vibrator does not require any external trigger signal to change the state of output signal. Hence, it is known as free running multi vibrator. As no any state of output signal is stable, that's why this multi vibrator is known as a stable multi operator. This circuit is designed by connecting two external resistors and a single capacitor to basic IC triple five timer IC as shown in figure one. Now this figure shows the circuit diagram for a stable multi operator using IC triple five IC triple five timer the two registers RA and RB and a single capacitor connected between pin number 6, 2 and ground and additional capacitor C1 is connected between pin number 5 and ground and output is taken from pin number 3. With reference to figure 1, pin number 1 is connected to ground, pin number 4 and 8 are shorted together and then connected to plus VCC, DC power supply voltage. The output is taken from pin number 3. Pin number 6 and pin number 2, those are threshold input for upper comparator and trigger input for lower comparator are shorted together and then connected to ground through external capacitor C. Pin number 7 is connected to plus VCC through external register RA. Register RB is connected between pin number 6 and pin number 7. At pin number 5, an additional bypass capacitor of 0 0.01 microfarad is connected with respect to ground to avoid any uh, noise problem. Now, this is a, another circuit diagram. Figure number 2 can be used to discuss the working of a stable multi operator using IC triple five. This figure includes internal functional block diagram of IC triple five with external uh, components register RA, RB and C. As shown in figure two, when Q output of internal flip flop is at low is low or that is the timer output is at high voltage level. The external, the discharge transistor is off, internal discharge transistor is off and external capacitor C starts charging towards plus VCC through register RA and RB. The charging time constant of a capacitor is RA plus RB into C. As C charges, the voltage across capacitor goes on increasing that is applied to uh, non inverting input of upper comparator that is uh, threshold voltage uh, increases as shown in figure 3. After some time the threshold voltage across a capacitor just exceeds a two third VCC. The output of upper comparator that is comparator 1 becomes high so this sets internal flip flop so that its Q output becomes high and Q bar output becomes low. So Q bar output of internal flip flop, so that is nothing but the final output of IC triple five timer. So timer output becomes low. Students should pause video here and think or how does timer output becomes high again. With a Q output of internal flip flop is at 
high voltage level. The internal transistor, that is DC transistor, is turned on, and pin number seven is grounded through DC transistor. So external capacitor C charges through resistor RB, discharges through resistor RB with a discharging time constant RB into C. With C discharging, the trigger voltage at pin number two, that is voltage across capacitor, goes on decreasing as capacitor discharges. So that is applied to inverting input of a lower comparator, comparator two. So the trigger voltage at inverting input of comparator two decreases when it becomes just less than one third VCC. So output of comparator two becomes high. So this resets uh, internal flip flop. Its uh, Q output becomes uh, low, and its Q bar output becomes high. So Q bar output of internal flip flop, that is a timer output. Available at pin number three, so output signal of IC triple five will be at high voltage level. Thus, the timer output state automatically changes from low voltage level to high voltage level. Again, from high voltage level to low voltage level, as shown in figure three, and this is repeated continuously, and we are getting a continuous rectangular wave signal at the timer output. This figure three sh shows the output waveform for a stable multivibrator using IC triple five. The upper waveform is for output signal of IC triple five. So output voltage signal changes between two voltage levels: high voltage level that is approximately equal to plus VCC, and a low voltage level that is nearly zero volt voltage level. And the second waveform, lower waveform, is for the voltage appearing across external capacitor. The capac external capacitor charges from one third VCC to two third VCC. So voltage across capacitor goes on increasing from one third VCC to two third VCC, during which the timer output remains at high voltage level. When the capacitor voltage just exceeds two third VCC. Again, the internal transistor becomes on, and so capacitor discharges. So capacitor discharges from two third VCC up to one third VCC. When voltage across capacitor just falls below one third VCC, again the internal uh, comparator two switches uh, internal flip flop so that uh, its Q bar output becomes high. Q bar output becomes high. And the final timer output becomes high. So as the voltage across capacitor just falls one third VCC, again the timer output becomes high. So TC is the time duration for which C charges from one third VCC to two third VCC, and TD is the time duration for which the C discharges from two third VCC to one third VCC. The frequency of output signal. Depends on the values of external components like resistor R A, R B, and capacitor C. The time duration in which C charges from one third V C C to two third V C C is equal to the time for which the output is high. It is given by T C. T C stands for charging time. That is, T C is equal to zero point six nine three into R A plus R B into C. The time duration in which C discharges from two third VCC to one third VCC is equal to the time for which the output is low. So the discharging time is given by TD is equal to zero point six nine three into R B into C. The time period. Of output signal is given by the total time duration for charging of capacitor and discharging of capacitor. Charging time interval plus discharging time interval T is equal to T C plus T D. So total time period is equal to T equal to 
जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन थ्री इंटू आर ए प्लस टू आर बी इंटू सी सेकंड्स द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ आउटपुट सिग्नल दैट इज कंटिन्यूस ऑसिलेशन इज गिवन बाय द फ्रीक्वेंसी इज रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ अ टाइम पीरियड सो एफ इक्वल टू वन अपॉन टी इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन थ्री इंटू आर ए प्लस टू आर बी इंटू सी सो दैट इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फोर्टी फोर अपॉन आर ए प्लस टू आर बी इंटू सी द टाइम पीरियड टी ऑफ आउटपुट सिग्नल ऑफ आई सी ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर इज इनडिपेंडेंट ऑफ प्लस वी सी सी डी सी पावर सप्लाई वोल्टेज वी कैन एक्सप्रेस ड्यूटी साइकिल ऑफ आई सी ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर सिग्नल द ड्यूटी साइकिल ऑफ आउटपुट सिग्नल इज द रेशो ऑफ टाइम टी सी ड्यूरिंग विच द आउटपुट इज एट हाई वोल्टेज लेवल to the total time period of output signal it is given by percentage d is equal to tc upon t multiplied by 100 where tc stands for charging time and t stands for total time period of output signal so percentage d d stands for due to cycle is equal to ra plus rb divided by ra plus 2 rb multiplied by 100 this is the reference Thank you.